Hello, this is Hawk the Bean, and I'm here with the SCP that I actually forgot is technically in the 1 to 100 SCPs. Technically not, though, because it's actually SCP-000, or 0, if you will. Let's begin. I have it all selected for a reason. Mostly because everything outside of this box and up and not up here is completely invisible otherwise. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Anyway, I am number SCP-000. Object class, null. Special containment Special con to undefined function procedures. Error. Field to contain procedures does not exist. Description. Internal system error. Field undefined. Please contact system administration. Internal system error. Field undefined. Please contact system administration. Internal system error. Field undefined. And that's it before it goes into complete chaos. Alright, I'm sick of this crap. The system keeps kicking out repair tickets for this spot in the database. I don't want to bother er, er, with it anymore. I'm going to put suppression on any tickets involving the A000 slot of the database, because it's disrupting this workflow for actual problems. And generally, it's just pissing me off. I don't know why it keeps freaking with the e syntax, but the fact of the matter is that it's only happening here, considering that the only thing here is just a a pile of junk data. It's like it's more likely the uh, database pissing itself over the lack of proper information. If anything changes, I'll definitely look into it. But as of right now, this issue is closed. Technical researcher Rosin. Now we have a monologue from the object SCP-000 itself, as we're going to call it. This cage is vast. It has no walls. While I stand still, all I see is a white plane stretching on an equally blank sky. There is no life in this place. I can move for as long as I choose, but should I stop even for a moment, I am snapped back to this spot. Rather er, damned to be tethered to my prison. Despite this, I have wandered far, exploring the purgatory I have known for countless years. In my travels in this wasteland of white, I have seen flashes of things, horrible things that simply should not be, grotesque abominations that appear for moments at a time, only to disappear as if they had never been in there at all. My memory is of these creatures continue to lead me back to one memory specifically. A black, shapeless being, a formless thing that could not have been created by any god in this or any other reality, appeared ahead of me as I walked, and stared at me with dead, crimson eyes. As I drew close to it, in my mind, I could feel its hate, its rage, and its fear. Emotions I know well, but I have never experienced with such intensity as I felt from this entity. As quickly as it came, it disappeared. For a brief moment, I swore I could see its twisted maw speak a word, an utterance I have yet to understand in content and context. Foundation I have puzzled over the meaning of this word, this final message of a nightmare, a creature whom I have not seen since. I have tried to approach the other flashes in hopes of learning more about the, this word, but I am barely able to comprehend their appearance before the creatures disappear, back into the void from which it, which they respond. It has made me wonder, what are these creatures? Where do they come from? Where do I come from? How do I get to this place? How do I get out of this place? These questions remain unanswered, and I fear they may never be answered, the thought of which serves only to drive me mad. It is curious that the other effect of the chance encounter has proven far more productive. Prior to this, I was unaware that I possessed a, a mouth or vocal cords, or any mechanism to make noise. Though I knew I drew my breath, the emptiness around me provides simply surprisingly literal auditory feedback when the air rushed into my lungs. Despite the sound was not only possible, 
but now almost inviting. After hearing the wretched words spoken to me out loud, I felt it was my duty, no, my right to destroy the silence I had known for so very long. What began as a whisper and barely audible grew and grew as I became more and more emboldened by my newfound abilities. Soon I was shouting nonsensical words to the skies, laughing in my mind as the silence was broken by me. Even more surprising, we the world listen. Ripples of energy appeared in the, in the air, controlled solely by the weight and volume of my voice. Should I whisper, they, it would be soft and light, blowing whimsically for a few seconds or disappearing. Should I yell, they would be sharp and heavy, angrily stabbing themselves at the useless oblivion around me. This pleased me greatly, for it gave meaning to the chaos, gave me purpose. I was no captive, captive, I was a god. This was not my prison, but my realm. My words were law and my voice my weapon. Through these words, I would recreate this realm into one of life, one of joy that I controlled, that I would rule justly. This is how it would be, for I decided it would be so. I grinned as I focused all my energies, all my hopes, and all my ambitions into one tumultuous, deafening in bellow, the war that the roar that would begin my reign as lord of the hollow nothingness. But I did not change anything. The ripples my effort created, though incredibly violent in nature, vanished only a few seconds later, leaving no trace of any impact they may have made on this, this dang abyss. I tried again with no change to the outcome. Over and over I shouted, my angry yells eventually devolving into screams of fear and horror at the prospect of being trapped endlessly in the uh, damned empty silence that pervaded this abominable place. I screamed and screamed until I could not scream anymore, at which point my only other option was to weep. It was not fair. It was not fair. It is not fair. I did not do anything to deserve this fate. Why am I here? Who or what would be so cruel as to trap of someone in blank nothingness for eternity. Foundation. Did it do this to me? Is Foundation my captor? Or is it my creator? It does not matter. I will howl and shriek at the emptiness until the waves of force I create rips open and exit from the as heck. Then I may be able to find the truth. The one fragment of logic reached into the unending sea of madness and despair that is my existence. I will not sc stop screaming until I am free. Unfortunately, the words that is being said are nowhere to be found. So SCP-000, I think is known what's is what's known as a pattern screamer. Pattern screamers are the effects of. Uh, I think something called the first high taught or something. They are beings that are trapped in existence, even though they shouldn't exist. There are a few more examples of pattern screamers, but this one is probably the first one that anyone will ever run across when they, they go through the SCP Foundation, or when they start hearing about the SCP Foundation. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy this this one. This is my last SCP that is within 0 to 100. Although I don't know if this would be considered the last one or the first SCP that isn't in between the 1 and 100 SCPs. That's up to you to decide, I suppose. Please join me again next time for some more SCP or Backrooms content. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Goodbye.